Isabel Group, Yvonne Michel, and Gary Shaw Productions present the Venezuela Principal 12 rounds for the champion of the world. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Presented in association with Misajur and Videotron, and sanctioned by Roger Desacour de Conseil de Jeu, Michel Hamelin, responsable. At ringside, the three judges scoring, Les Trois Juges from the United States, Richard Flaherty, from Thailand, Anek Hong Tong Kam, and from Canada, Jack Woodburn, and in charge of the action at the bell, the referee, world championship veteran, Michael Griffin. And now, the fighters are ready, the officials are ready. Boxing fans, are you ready? For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, the Montreal, mesdames and messieurs, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing Kronk Gold, official weight, 174, one quarter pounds. His professional record stands at 21 fights, 20 victories, including 17 knockouts with a KO ratio of 81%. Originally from Port-au-Prince, Haiti, now living, training, and fighting out of Longueuil, Quebec, Canada, the challenger, former WBC super middleweight silver belt champion, Adonis Superman. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing black with red, officially weighing in at 173, one half pounds. His professional record stands at 31 victories, including 17 knockouts with two defeats, one no contest, one no decision. From New Haven, Connecticut, USA, the two-time reigning, defending, light heavyweight champion of the world, Bad. Chad Dawson! Okay, ladies. Thank you, ladies. All right, both you men receive my instructions. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands. Remember to protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves now, man. You're boxing at the bell. God bless both of you. This is the third time in his last six fights that Andre Ward has fought right here in this building. You mean Chad Dawson? Excuse me, Chad Dawson. Chad Dawson, I'm sitting next to Andre Ward, has fought right here in this building. First time he lost his light heavyweight championship to Jean Pascal. Beat Diakonu. His next time here, and Stevenson would like nothing better than to win that light heavyweight championship here in this building here tonight. Dawson acknowledged that Montreal is becoming something of a home base for him now. He says he has friends here. People pick him up at the airport. It's my take, Andre, that we should be able to find out relatively early whether Stevenson is going to be able to get into position to land his power body shots. Yeah, I think you're right. I think Dawson... In the, at the same time, needs to get some respect. He's fighting a young, hungry fighter who doesn't, even though he's had a bump in the road with his loss to Boone, doesn't feel like Chad can do anything, and Chad has to change his mind right now. So far, Stevenson's been mostly upstairs when his uh, Sunday punch is really that right hook to the body. Well, that could be a case of nerves. It's not just nerves, but it's also the caliber of fighter that Dawson is. Dawson has better legs than anybody that Adonis Stevenson has ever fought, so he's not going to be able to land that body shot at will. It's going to take some more work. Down goes Dawson on a spectacular left cross, and Chad oh. Dawson is very oh. badly hurt Six. by what was a Seven. sensational shot. Eight. He has wobbly legs as he backs oh, up by the rope, 
And the referee's gonna stop it. Michael Griffin stops it in the first round. Ted Dawson is violently upset by the stoppage. Adana Stevenson is the light heavyweight champion of the world. That is not only a championship winning one punch knockout, that's a star making performance, Jim Lampley. That was stunning. spectacular the moment he landed that shot he knew that Dawson might not make it up that was it you see the look in Dawson's eyes he was out he wasn't out completely but he was out he was separated from the senses and he wasn't going to recover from that shot and waited and waited to try to figure whether Dawson was ready to go at the end of the day I think he made the right call the legs that's when you can tell what a fighter has they may tell you they're okay but the legs said he wasn't okay Jim you made the comment earlier today Dawson is an old 30, Stevenson is a young 35, and this has been a division without an up-and-coming power-punching star for a while now. Well, Chad Dawson knew that or Adonis Stevenson had a reputation as a tremendous power puncher. Dawson treated that with contempt. I mean, he basically said, against whom? He hasn't faced anybody even close to me. He found out that power is power, regardless of who you're using it against. It was a tremendous one-punch, left-hand knockout shot by the southpaw, Stevenson. And that's something that will be replayed on YouTube a million times this week. Now let's take another look at the knockout punch. Dawson leaning in to throw a right, gets hit with the left, and he was gone. Some guys have it. They call it heavy hands. This guy has heavy hands. Andre, here's another look. Dawson's about to throw a right hand. It never gets there. Stevenson, Stevenson's got there first. Lights out, fight over. What accounts for heavy hands? Oh, I mean, you don't have to land clean. That wasn't necessarily a clean shot. It was a shot on the side of the jaw, but it had enough force behind it early in the fight where maybe Dawson was a little cold, and it did what it did. Obviously, Stevenson's strong. You need only to see his body one time to see that. He has balance and timing as well. Another look at the celebration for Adana Stevenson, who basically threw one hard punch and delivered what Montreal fans wanted to see in less than a minute and a half. And Steve Weisfeld, uh, Andre Ward and I both offered our opinion about uh, the referee stoppage. Do you agree with the referee stopping the fight? I do, at the fighter instructions, the referee said to both fighters, if you get knocked down, I want you to pick up your hands. And I did not.